Now, a team of journalists investigating the death of a migrant along the Greece-Turkey border say evidence suggests he was killed by a bullet that came from a Greek firearm. Pakistani national Mohammed Gulzar is reported to have died after trying to cross into Greece on March the 4th. Greek border police guards have clashed frequently with migrants along the country's northern border with Turkey. The government has dismissed the report as fake news. Well, the German newspaper Der Spiegel broke this story in collaboration with a number of other publications, including the investigative team at Bellingcat. Well, their senior investigator Nick Waters joins me now. Uh, thanks for taking time to speak to us here. Uh, what's your evidence in this case? So whenever something extraordinary happens, people take out their mobile phones, start taking pictures and videos. And what we did is we gathered all those videos together, worked out when they had happened um, to build a story um, of what had happened that day. And we found that pretty clearly shows uh, six people were wounded and one person was killed over a period of about 40 minutes along that fence line. Yeah. Now you say in your report that uh, Mohammed Gulzar was killed from a bullet which came from a Greek firearm, or perhaps he was targeted accidentally. But what about the claims which Greece says that perhaps Turkish undercover operatives were operating in the area? So we had um, about seven hours and 45 minutes covering that of video, covering that 40 minute window. And um, we didn't see any Turkish soldiers outside the border post um, along the fence line where Golza was shot. Um, so the Turkish uh, soldiers only in the border post. However, Greek soldiers and police were all along the fence that day, and they were armed with the, the kind of calibre rifle, 5.56, uh, which was reported to have killed Golza on his death certificate. OK, but Greece says undercover operatives. So uh, yeah, so in them? We... Uh, yeah, so we obtained a video of live rounds being fired um, and we had it uh, examined by an audio forensic analyst in the States. He identified that the energy of the rounds being fired are um, rifle uh, rounds, rifle caliber rounds. And that's a very difficult kind of weapon to hide. Uh, and it's not something that we saw being carried by any person on the Turkish side of the fence that day. Uh, however, as I said, on the Greek side of the fence, there are multiple people, as you can see in that footage, uh, holding rifles along that fence line. Okay. Now, Greece has refuted uh, your evidence. Uh, what sort of response have you had from Turkish authorities, though? I uh, haven't had much uh, from the Turkish authorities. Um, yeah, I haven't really heard very much at all. I, I think our report emphasised the fact that Turkey is responsible, bears responsibility for, for some of this event, at least. Uh, they were the ones who said that their border was open and funneled refugees and migrants to this location. Um, so they are not uh, an innocent party in this event. Nick Waters, uh, senior investigator at the investigative website Bellingcat. Thank you.